Hello again, my name is Ernest Miller. Let's settle for the details now. And we begin from the Savannah region because the Inspector General of Police, James Oponbuen, is expected to be there, uh, which has been in the news over the past few weeks uh, with the security concerns. Now, it all started with the ongoing registration exercise where supporters of both NPP and NDC have perpetrated violence on one another following alleged passing of people from other regions to registration centers. Damango and Daboya towns dominated in some of these attacks. Now, the lynching of the or the, to death of the 90-year-old woman, Ikiadenta, in Kafaba in the East Gonja district has also added to the myriad of security issues being dealt with in that region. Joining us uh, via Zoom is the uh, Savannah region correspondent, Isaac Nonya, uh, for some more details on this. Isaac, thank you very much for joining us here on Newsdex. The IGP is expected to be there. What are the details of his visit? When is he expected to touch down? Hello, Isaac. Well, we seem not to have Isaac on the line. Um, Isaac, if you can just unmute your sound for us, then we can hear you. Hello, yes, Isaac. Roland. Yes, I, I, can, I can hear you now. NST, so uh, the IGP is expected in your region. Uh, bring us some more detail on his visit. Yes, his, lively, uh, his visit likely has to do with what police sources are telling us. They said the IGP is here to meet with Resek, also meet with the King of Gunjala, and then some stakeholders who have helped in the area of peace uh, and control of peace, peace direction in the region. He will also visit uh, people like the Kafaba, Dabuya, and that of uh, uh, Damago to see how he could help together with the people to address the security challenges that have just come up, uh, come up in the wake of the voter registration and that of the Kafaba murder. We know about the Kafaba murder and the fact that he deployed a team of uh, homicide uh, you know, officers from Accra uh, to help in the investigation which is ongoing. We know that some people have been arrested and will soon be arranged, others charged. Uh, but about electoral violence, bring us up to speed on what the situation has been in the region. It mostly has to do with both NPP and NDC. The area of Kojokura, where some uh, individuals were spotted holding some weapons and dragged to the police station, is an issue that's at hand. That of Daboya, there was another confrontation between NPP and NDC, leading to the injury of some people. The police still holding that issue. Then, largely, the vast of people to, from other regions. Well, we seem to have lost uh, Isaac Nuna there on Zoom uh, due to the connection issue. We'll rectify that so we can have him bring us up to speed on the situation in the region and also tell us more about the visit of the IGP uh, to the Savannah region today. We know that he deployed uh, some men from the homicide unit to help in the investigation of the lynching of the 90-year-old woman uh, in that region, Ekia Dente. But also, we understand that there have been pockets of violence in some parts of the region, and he's going to uh, address himself with the situation there. Isaac joins us again. Isaac, uh, you are giving us some more detail on the electoral violence in the region. Hello, Isaac. Can you hear? Hello, Isaac. Yes. Yes, I'm with you, Menu. Yes, so you are, you are giving us some more detail on the uh, pockets of violence recorded in the region as far as the voter registration exercise is concerned. Exactly. If you consider what happened at Kojokura, Kurabaso, Daboya, and that of Damago, these areas, you realize that both MPP and NDC supporters were attacked and injured. And the police were able to arrest some individuals who are currently undergoing trial at the Bola Magistrate Court. And it's an issue that 
even the stakeholder rested, are still managing to see how they can control based on the number of days that are left for the exercise to finish. But largely, I think the IGP visit here will be able to address some of the issues. One, we are told that apart from meeting with RESEC and the overlord of Gonjalan, he equally be meeting with political parties who are here in the region to see how they can come together with the security to address some of the challenges in the region. Mm. And, and, and we know that this is his uh, first uh, visit to that region since the commander uh, was created because of the uh, creation of that region. Uh, I'm sure there are issues of administration that he would also be looking at and in terms of the structures for the regional command as well. That is true. Let, let me quickly touch on what is happening at Kafaba. Kafaba is a distance uh, from that of uh, the Salaga, Salaga, Salaga town. And one thing that still we'll be looking at is for the IGP to talk about the post, citing a post, police post at Kafaba. Here to the, where the structure the regional command is managing was what was, for, was meant for the district command. At the moment, many officers have come and the, the RCC have located a site for that project. I think the IGP, IGP visit here will be able to talk about how they are going to expand the place or put a permanent structure to address the accommodation challenges for the officers here. Isaac, thank you very much uh, for bringing us up to speed on the visit of the IGP to the Savannah region. I know you'll be following up closely uh, to, to update our viewers on whatever happens there during his visit. That's our correspondent for Savannah region, Isaac Nonya.